Einstein's view in books works for later. <laughs> Bookworm. <laughs> Yeah, the next one is SCP-2324, Her Majesty's Navy. Oh! Yeah. yeah, and you actually got the shortest one we've ever done tonight. That's if you want to read this. the last one I did practically the longest one? <gasps> yeah! 2316. So you went from doing the... <laughs> Wait, I just realized, every single one you've done so far has affected a person memetically. Yeah, why don't you read this one? I swear, if this affects a person memetically, <laughs> it's not intentionally doing this on purpose. It's just coincidence. Anyways, uh, you want to read it? Fine. If it, if it affects people nematically, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I don't- I don't mean to! You'll get the snake side-eye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, CP-2320. Hmm. Special containment procedure. A single living specimen of SCP. Dash A hereby twenty three twenty four dash A dash one. Farmer Lee Daryl Dixon of Gary and of Gary and Indiana. What kind of place is called Gary? The city of Gary. The town of Gary. Sorry. I don't know why that bothers me. It's to be kept mm. the high security containment vault at site 58. Sorry, I'm, I literally made all other instances of SCP destroyed upon discovery. Site 58 has been equipped to optim with optima class insecticide dispensers to be used in the event of a containment breach. All crucial personnel at Site 58 are required to receive optima immunization at a separate site. No optima vaccine is to be present on Site 58 if this this Deployment of Optima gas proves ineffective to recontain SCP 2324A 1. The site 5 megaton incinerary charges are to be activated. Oh, gee. Huh. Description SCP 2324 is a phenomenon associated with the Western honeybee. That I will not read the scientific name, but I. Apis mellifera, or something. And its parasitic interaction with humans. Hmm. SCP 2324. It just. It detonates a human infect. Oh! SCP 2324 8. Detonates a human infected with force. Inject in it, the injection mechanism for SCP 324 is through a specialized bee string to a living, I mean, bee sting to a living human. A fully infected 2324 8 instance is clinically dead but maintains life functioning under a new alter controlled by an unknown means, presumably by. Not by that. Presumably by bees within the body of individual instance of an of the individual instance. The brain of an SCP 2324 placed with a new structure superficially resembling beehive. Resembling SCP 2401 
resembling an SCP-2040 in which regular honeybees produce, nurture, and deploy biologically via nuts, thrillus, mouse, and other cat cavities. SCP-2324 speaks in the host's native language, an instance or for refer to itself as an individual warship belonging to a greater army known by such names as the Hive Authority, Her Majesty's Fleet, and the Queen's Navy. Investigation into possible lengths. Addendum SCP 2324 A 1 interview. January, but on May 16, 2015, Dr. Redacted, please state your name for the record. SCP 2324 A 1. We have visual on enemy flagship. Stand by Kincaid. State your name. Hostility detected. De deploy scout drones on my mark. I mean you no harm if you cooperate. Rescind the order. Everyone, specialist. this is my favorite place to go to. Uh, uh, cheery. I'm getting a raid. Sorry. <laughs> you got <laughs> I... Hi, Hatchet. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. We're talking, we're reading the SCP that deals with <laughs> making people worship, apparently. <laughs> if I'm correct, right, Jerry? Um, from what I'm seeing, it's an SCP that's similar to 2491. Only where those ones are full, these ones are kind of like specialized on one. Yeah. They're like the battleships, where the other ones are the... Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Funny thing, Hatch Hatchet, when... Pokemon brought up you're you're doing maximum security deer prison. I was talking about deer college. <laughs> also in the yeah. in twenty in uh twenty four ninety one, if I remember correctly, those bees continue to go through the body. This one just stays pretty much in the brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, oh, go back to reading? yeah, you can go now. Sorry about that. Okay. SCP 2324 dash. Rescind order. Enemy vessel is attempting negotiate. Hard to bow. Warning shot in three, two, one. SCP 2324 dash A dash. Small globs of envenomed. Cause sick honey onto the wall, dissolving the paint. Doctor redacted. May I speak here, Captain? SCP-2324. Dash A bows its head for a moment, and then... This is Captain 4-73 of the HM Daryl Dixon speaking under Her Majesty's standard rules of... You will vacate the area and grant us safe passage to the Earth's hive of the opposite. Your compliance is mandatory, and any resistance will result, result in civilian casualties in Masse. Can I get a sedative dart in here, please? Battle stations! Deploy port side boarding! Move! 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 SCP-2324-A-1 begins making guttural noises similar to klaxon, a klaxon.
sun a lot. Pores and SCP-2324 diaphagus one left arm open, unleashing a small swarm of honeybees to sting Dr. Redacted multiple times in seconds. The date of start applied to SCP-2324 diaphagus one. Direct hit, minimal damage to the outer hull. Engine systems malfunctioning. Disengage. Stand by for further instructions. SCP 2324 A 1 successfully sedated. Note Dr. Redacted has since been quarantined for signs of infection. It should be noted that Dr. Redacted has crudely drawn the HMS nickname tag. Oh! appealing he would uh remove from life to yeah. avoid yeah I don't think this is pure mimetic because it has to deal with bees <laughs> so honestly <laughs> there's a chance this is a very dangerous but reading it was very hilarious, and I can't take it seriously. Yeah. I feel like this falls under food tier. Yeah, for food tier, yeah. Cause we don't actually see the danger. Oh, we only have. Oh wow, we only have five left. Hmm. But yeah, it's probably dangerous. But I can't take it seriously because it's so hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, from what I see, probably go to only one if we were to do it, because it looks like it goes for one person at a given time to attack. It, it to well, use to fight it people. One at a time. But think of this. That's only because that person. Yeah. It could probably spread pretty rapid. <laughs> think of this. Every bee. Uh, every sting the bee is that it could have been perfect. Yeah. So this could actually spread horrendously fast. But it isn't spreading fast because it contains the one infected. I don't think it's season three bookworm. Hold on, I can look. SCP tier. Not five, not five, not fives. Ah, that's right. I had a keter. Keter. Return. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Keep going. It's only showing. It's only showing the vods. What did I? Shit. What did I mean? Happening? I'm just looking. Uh, but I'm just looking at something real quick. That's all. Yeah, I believe twenty three twenty four has the possibility to be world changing, but it won't because the only one. That because basically the one that was infected was secured by the foundation. The one infected that we know of. Here we go. Um, okay, so we're on season two, episode 5.9. Huh? I was telling Bookworm what... Well, technically this will be six. Not 5.9. The last one was 5.9. Anyways. Okay, yeah, we're on season two. 
Next is SCP-2326. That'll be one I read. There we go. 2326, aka the Phantom Bomber Fleet. Alright, so let me go ahead and post a picture of it, Jerry. There you go. And also, the GOP has done that. Huh? Oh, look. The is involved. Yeah, look, I get a long one this time. Huzzah, congratulations. If you want me to do any voice. Yeah, I got it. Alright. <clears throat> Item SCP-2326. Object Class Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Removal of the sources of instances of Dash 1. Oh, wait, 2376 26 is Dash 1 Dash is going. Containment currently focuses on eliminating 23. Twenty-six dash one instances in twenty-three twenty-six Tango offense. Detachments of, of interceptor aircraft and squadron strength, as well as ground and air re search radars, cited as sites seven, eighteen, and twenty-four, and GOC sites listed in joint documentation twenty-three twenty-six seven seven six, will attempt to detect the, and intercept twenty-three twenty-six dash one instances whenever Tango events occur. Additional undercover detachments of armed forces and of NATO or NATO and former Warsaw Pact members are tasked with masking Dash 1 instances from air search radars or otherwise establishing them as non existent contexts. Ideally, Tango events should be classified as scheduled large aircraft flights to or coincide with planning monitoring. Shut up, Bookman. Coincide with planning monitoring, monitoring downtime for maintenance or testing. Ideally, Foundation and GOC forces should be sufficient to intercept Dash 1 instances outside of densely populated areas. In the case that Joint Foundation slash GOC forces are out of action, otherwise insufficient, Defense Forces of Nations targeted should only be alerted as a last resort. All records should be recovered from the guise of technical failure in a military exercise. Surviving instances of Dash 3 should be neutralized immediately. Surviving instances are unable to answer relevant questions. Foundation site 2326-A is cited at a dialectic radar station on the outskirts of Tula, Russia. A research group of Foundation researchers should work to restore Dash 2 to working order to remove the threat of, of that Tango events pose. <laughs> Shut up, book. Anyway, description. Instances of 2326-1 confirmed to be carefully reverse engineered Hadley Page victors of Soviet origin. Escorted by Mekhyon Gorovich, MIG-29 multi-role fighters. Instances have markings consistent with RAF aircraft in 1975. Radar a lot of Radiological testing indicates that 60% of instances carry tactical nuclear weapons ranging in size from 10 to 75 kilotons. Aircrew air crew will attempt to respond to radio hauls from interceptor aircraft, but audio received from flight crews is heavily dis distorted and mostly in unintelligible and have other been otherwise unable to comply with Foundation requests. When approached using ICAO interception, signaling aircraft will respond with cannot comply and continue on course. Groups of Dash 1 in flight strength will spontaneously appear over the North Atlantic at 16,000 meters. Such appearances are termed Tango events. Instances will attempt to fly toward Warsaw Pact industrial centers, 
major military bases, and other strategic locations. It is presumed that instances of Dash 1 will attempt to destroy cities with their payloads. Projections suggest if one that if one target is destroyed, there's a 68% chance of a resulting political situation escalating to an XK class scenario. Flights of Dash 1 also have the following characteristics. Approximately 16% of instances will suffer a mechanical failure and crash on their own accord. And 5% of technical events, MIG-29 escort fighters, will shoot down their Victor counterparts and otherwise resume course. Instances will fly erratically, yawning or turning in a circle several times before returning on course. Dash A was originally a control facility, carefully disguised as a radar site. At some point after redacted, it fell into despair. Until it restored as a foundation site under discovery of the association with Tango events from rediscovered GRU P Division documents. It contains the remains of a previously known variation of Elbrus 3 computer linked to a D Nestor radar array, designated Dash 2. As well as the remains of GRU P Division research site. Based on the partial recovered documentation, the current non functioning network of this control mechanism for Dash 1 instances, and currently in the active mode with no way of ret to return the system to an inactive state. Work to restore functionality is ongoing. <laughs> Alright. Recovery log. GOC forces requested assistance in containing Dash 1 instances, which they claim to have been containing and attempting to destroy since 1975. They did not cite a reason for involving the Foundation. Link to Dash 2 discovered two in 2000 with the recovery of GRUP Division archives. Inconsistencies discovered between GRUP records and GOC timeline. It seems like yeah. uh, those little archives have their own file related to the SDT. Yeah. So you might have more reading. If it's if it's needed, but anyways, uh, Agent, well, we already got its classification for, for where we're gonna put it. It's clearly uh... stated it, <laughs> but we're gonna. I'm just gonna read the rest of the document. <laughs> Agent Yurilov was chosen due to his familiarity with Warsaw Pack aircraft and flight procedures. Forward communication established. On 243 megahertz and permanently aircraft emergency brand band. Agent Yurilov. What well, that it. This is Major Yurilov of the 324th Fighter Air Division of, of the VVS. Your aircraft and rest of the squadron have been recalled to Site 24. Turn back at once. SV 2326 1. Look, look, cut. Instant Command 8. Shall diff turn back at, at, at immediately or we will be forced to shoot you down. Action offline cannot alter orders with instant verification. You have at this point activated the seeker heads of the AAMs attached to his aircraft. System verification out la activated and Redacted. We can sis the system set. Repeat. I can hardly understand what you say. Please, off with the flight. And it got act. It's so bad. Can't feel any. What can we turn off? Please shoot, shoot us. The ill us. We can't. Do it. Agent Yurov received approval to shoot down the aircraft. SV-2326-1 instance was downed in the Northern Atlantic without incident. Oh, that's just sad. Static goes to say that the, the anomaly doesn't want to do what it's doing. It's probably unwilling to do anything. Yeah. To it being on the active. Yeah. Alright, request for system 
All right, so here's our forces are no longer sufficient to prevent a catastrophic scenario, but should unforeseen uh, circumstances arise, ideally, it would be. We should be able to neutralize the anomaly when it occurs, but it's better to be prepared. All documentation we have gathered has been delivered via carrier to the prearranged drop point. Delivered documentation performed the basis of this document, but contain no mention of Dash 2, only that the existence actions and characteristics of Dash 1 instances. Alright. Protecting 1972. GRUP Division creates Operation Silver, a false flag operation designed to attack Warsaw Pact cities with conventional aerial bombing to generate sympathy and for proper casus belli for war against the West. 1978, Operation Silver is operational. A secondary function to use an nuclear strike is implemented via anomalous, anomalous means. Strike bombers will be deployed against the West in, in infinite months. In infinite numbers, as long as the deactivation codes remains unbroadcasted, even if the system goes offline, intended to be used in conjunction with dead hand. On June, redacted 1991, with the collapse of the Soviet Union intimate, hardline GRUP division leaders activate the false flag function of the silver apparatus with the intention of using war to keep the Union together. However, GRC forces are, are able to neutralize the bombers and the Soviet Union collapses later that year. Redacted 1993, GOC forces dis discovered a link to Dash 2 and an attempt to disable the fa facility system malfunctions that enters both its false flag and, and infinite state, triggering the intimate occurrence of 23-26 Tango events. Redacted 1997, forces GOC forces request assistance for with containment. Existence of Dash 2 is not disclosed. Redacted 2000, Foundation discovers Site 2326-A and it's linked to Dash 1. May I say, even when the DOC and still do the wrong thing? Uh, uh, Jerry, Discord cut you off. Oh, I was saying, even when the DOC <laughs> it did it again. find a way to do the wrong thing, and they're still assholes. Yeah. Discord does not like you today. Yeah, it doesn't like me today. Yeah. Alright. Date redacted. 2000. Project start. Author Dr. Seminov. Notes. Did you see really did a number on this place? What is left of the controlling system is in pieces. We have to reverse engineer for what's left of and the GRUP division documentation. I placed Dr. Avery in charge of the signal analysis and Dr. Jameson in charge of the system analysis. If this course part of the GOC <laughs> confirmed <laughs> between us, the schematics, and what's left here. Uh, we ought to be at, to be at least reverse engineer system reestablishing in connection with dash one is going to be re the real test. Date redacted 2001, 15 months after project start. Author Dr. Avery. Notes. Well, we've pieced together what exactly has occurred in the system and why exactly the way it is. When a GOC wrecked this, it was operating the FF mode. That is the mode where conventional bombers hit the Warsaw Pact. When the GOC came in, the functioning mode switched to a glitchy halfway mode before it completely it went completely offline. <laughs> That's why we got MIG 29s escorting victors and, and all the other bizarre behavior. It's going to be a while before we have our replacement dash 2 functioning. We still got a decade or two operating data to work with. With any luck, we can turn the whole thing off and reclassify it safe. Date redacted 2003, 30 months after project started. Author Dr. Jameson. Notes D Dash 2 construction on schedule. The hard part is going to be reprogramming the operating system. There aren't very many Elbrus 3 still around, and this one is like no variant I've ever seen. We're playing a very dangerous game here, randomly editing the process that governs an in and out control nuclear bomber force is a gamble of last resort. False source code and documentation was later recovered in 2007. Okay. Yeah, my nose is so stuffy. 
Sorry about that. Alright. Date retracted 2008. 90 months after project start. Doctor, uh, author Dr. Semenov. Notes, well, Dash 2 is up and running. Thank God we found the source code in the archives. 2326 instances see our system, but they won't connect. They can't verify that we're actually... Or the actual dash two system, and without that, we can't change the parameters or turn it off. We have the proper authentication codes and everything. Seven and a half years, and this whole effort seems to just be another dead end. Next time, we request the use of SP redacted and restoration of dash two. Request is currently pending. I want to say the danger level it is. Well, want to know why I think. Uh, Discord keeps cutting you off. Uh, let me try something. <laughs> Alright, what was that you're saying? I want to know why I think that the level of danger it is right now is all the DLC's fault. Why? Because it's literally stuck in a glitchy state because that's the state it was in when it was destroyed. They forced it into the glitchy state and now it's stuck there. The glitchy state yeah. is stopping it from uh, confirming anything. That's fair. So literally, they have it stuck on the on switch even though things were fixed. Yeah, so anyways, we don't have to talk about which class is going in because it already stated in the article. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, because at first I thought it was just regular fighter jets, but they, they say they have nuclear weapons? Yeah. Yeah, that's an XK. Yeah. 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 Yeah.